funds which have a higher uh, proportion of mid cap uh, of small caps and micro caps pavitra take it away Oh, absolutely. So like you pointed out, ACE Mutual Fund and Fistum Research have identified five small cap funds which have low exposure to large caps and high exposure to micro caps. They've also considered the AUM of the fund as well as the cash position. So a higher AUM and lower cash position. I want to mention at the outset, these are not poor quality funds at all. These are not bad performers. That is not the purpose of identifying these funds. So having said that, let me go through the list. First is the HDFC small cap fund. The AUM is around 28,000. 1600 crores the large cap exposure is at 3.7% and the micro cap exposure is at 18% they have a cash holding of just under 10% next you have the axis small cap fund the aum is around 19500 crores the large cap exposure for this one stands at 2.3% and the micro cap exposure is at 9% and the cash position for this is 8.2 Now Fisdim and ASMF also mentioned the HSBC small cap fund which has an AUM of around 14000 crores the large cap holding is at 2.3% and the micro cap position is at 15% if you look at the cash for this one they're sitting under less under 2% in terms of the cash position we then have the DSP small cap fund with an AUM of around 13800 crores the exposure to micro caps is significant at 22% and the cash position is at 5.8% Finally the fifth fund is the Franklin India Smaller Companies Fund the AUM is around 12000 crores for this one the lo- the total large cap exposure is 3.2% and the micro cap position is at 16% if you look at the cash position that is around 6% for this fund to reiterate these are not poor quality funds this exercise was undertaken by ace mutual fund and fisdim only to identify the larger funds in the category which have high exposure to micro cap and then low exposure to large caps as well as cash positions uh, with that survey it's back to you Okay all right Pavitra thanks very much interesting data out there again we reiterate that as of now there is no specific indication the definition of small cap or micro cap or mid cap that there could be any changes there that doesn't seem to be the case as of now uh, but of course a higher disclosure is what the mutual fund circles are talking about with that we'll take a very quick break come back on the other side and we'll discuss everything that's buzzing in the commodity space with Manisha Gupta